The ability to navigate through a sea of emotions is crucial for our well-being. Emotional intelligence, often referred to as EQ, is the key to understanding and managing our own emotions, as well as those of others. In this quest for emotional intelligence, the ancient teachings of Buddhism offer profound insights and practical guidance. This video will delve into the rich spiritual teachings of Buddhism, exploring how they can serve as a transformative path to enhance emotional intelligence and bring about a sense of inner peace. Process 1. Think about what's happening. From deadlines at work to personal relationships, the constant stream of thoughts can be overwhelming. Buddhism teaches us the importance of mindfulness, the practice of being fully present and aware of our thoughts and feelings. Begin your journey to emotional intelligence by simply taking a moment to think about what's happening around you. Sit in a quiet space, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. As you inhale and exhale, let go of the racing thoughts and bring your attention to the present moment. This simple act of awareness is the foundation of emotional intelligence the ability to understand and manage your own emotions. By cultivating mindfulness, you create a space for self-reflection and gain insight into your emotional landscape. The more you understand your thoughts and feelings, the better equipped you are to navigate the challenges that life presents. Thinking about what's happening is not just a simple exercise. It's like giving a gift to yourself. When we take a moment to pause and observe our thoughts and feelings, we're opening a door to understanding ourselves better. It's like having a friendly chat with your own mind. Life can be like a bustling marketplace with thoughts and emotions clamoring for attention. By thinking about what's happening, you create a space of clarity. It's like finding a quiet corner in that busy marketplace where you can understand yourself better. When we're lost in the whirlwind of our thoughts, stress often creeps in. By taking a moment to think about what's happening, you're stepping back from stress. It's like pressing a pause button, giving yourself a chance to breathe and regroup. Imagine navigating a maze without a map. That's how life feels when we're not aware of what's happening within us. When you think about what's happening, you're creating a mental map. This helps you make decisions with a clearer mind, like having a reliable guide on your journey. Understanding yourself is like having a user manual for your emotions, when you know what's happening inside you, it becomes easier to express yourself to others. This builds stronger connections because people appreciate authenticity. Emotional intelligence is about harmonizing your internal world. By thinking about what's happening, you bring order to the sometimes chaotic orchestra of your emotions. It's like tuning the instruments so that they play in harmony. People are like emotional mirrors. When you understand your own feelings, it becomes easier to understand others. It's like speaking a common emotional language. This connection is the essence of emotional intelligence. Life is an adventurous journey with ups and downs. Improving emotional intelligence is like having a reliable compass. When you think about what's happening, you equip yourself with the tools to navigate through challenges smoothly. Imagine your mind as a calm pond. When you think about what's happening, you're ensuring that the ripples don't turn into destructive waves. This inner peace becomes a constant companion, even in the midst of life's storms. It's a pathway to self-discovery, better relationships, and a more harmonious life. As you embark on this journey, remember that every moment you spend understanding yourself is a step towards a more emotionally intelligent and fulfilling life. Process to own up to what you do. Emotional intelligence goes hand in hand with taking responsibility for your actions. Acknowledging and owning up to your actions is a crucial step in cultivating emotional intelligence. Reflect on your behavior and choices without judgment. Be honest with yourself about the impact your actions may have on others. Taking responsibility is not about blame. It's about understanding that your actions shape your reality and the world around you. By owning up to what you do, you empower yourself to make positive changes and build stronger connections with those around you. Owning up to what you do is like taking charge of your life story. It's not about blaming yourself but about becoming the author who decides the plot twists. When you embrace this chapter, you're stepping into the driver's seat of your own narrative. Imagine having a superhero within you. When you own up to your actions, 
It's like unleashing that inner superhero. You become the one who can make positive changes, shape your destiny, and influence the story of your life. Trust is the glue that holds relationships together. When you own up to what you do, you're showing others that you can be trusted. It's like being a reliable friend who admits mistakes and learns from them, fostering deeper connections. Life is a journey of constant growth. By owning up to your actions, you're embracing the lessons that come your way. It's like having a personal mentor guiding you through the ups and downs, helping you evolve into the best version of yourself. Integrity is the compass that points to true north in the landscape of your character. People appreciate authenticity. When you own up to your actions, you're being genuine. It's like presenting your true self to the world, and this authenticity fosters genuine connections with others. Life can be a roller coaster with unexpected twists and turns. Improving emotional intelligence is like strapping yourself in and facing the ride with resilience. When you own up to what you do, you develop the emotional strength to weather any storm. Imagine being the source of inspiration for others. When you own up to your actions, you become a positive influence. It's like casting ripples of responsibility that inspire those around you to do the same, creating a culture of accountability. Emotional intelligence is about finding balance within. When you own up to what you do, you're restoring that balance. It's like aligning your inner compass, ensuring that your actions resonate with your core values and lead to a more harmonious existence. It's about claiming victory over your own shortcomings. It's a journey of empowerment, trust building, and personal growth. Process 3. Judge Yourself Judgment often carries a negative connotation, but in the context of emotional intelligence in Buddhism, it takes on a different meaning. Instead of harsh self-criticism, judgment becomes a tool for self-refinement. Take a compassionate look at your thoughts, words, and actions. Ask yourself if they align with the values you hold dear. The Buddhist practice of self-judgment encourages introspection without condemnation. By evaluating your behavior with kindness and understanding, you pave the way for personal growth. It involves seeing things as they truly are, free from delusions. Judging yourself with this wisdom allows you to align your actions with your higher self, contributing to a more emotionally intelligent and fulfilled life. Judging yourself in this context is not about being overly critical. It's about being your own friendly coach. It's like having a mentor who gently guides you toward becoming the best version of yourself. When you engage in self-judgment, you're participating in a process of positive self-refinement. Imagine having a mirror that reflects not just your appearance, but also your inner thoughts and actions. When you judge yourself, you're holding up that mirror. It's like turning on a light in the room of your mind, allowing you to see yourself more clearly. Life is a journey of constant learning and growing. By judging yourself, you're embracing this journey. It's like being the gardener who tends to the plants of your character, nurturing them to bloom into the best versions of themselves. Boundaries are like fences that protect your emotional garden. When you judge yourself, you're defining these boundaries. It's like setting limits on behaviors that align with your values, creating a safe and nurturing space for your emotional well-being. Change is the only constant in life, and judging yourself is like being the architect of positive change. It's like renovating your mental and emotional spaces, demolishing the old and constructing the new, creating a more resilient and vibrant inner landscape. Emotional intelligence involves expressing yourself authentically. When you judge yourself, you're refining your self-expression. It's like polishing the lens through which you communicate, ensuring that your message is clear and true to who you are. Life is a series of choices and emotional intelligence guides you in making wise decisions. When you judge yourself, you're enhancing this guidance system. It's like having a reliable compass that points you toward choices aligned with your values and well-being. Stress often arises from the dissonance between who you are and who you want to be. Improving emotional intelligence is like resolving this dissonance. When you judge yourself, you're smoothing out the rough edges, reducing the stress that comes from inner conflicts. A growth mindset is the belief that you can develop and improve through effort and learning. When you judge yourself, you're embodying this mindset. 
It's like having a mental gym where you flex your resilience muscles, fostering a mindset that welcomes challenges as opportunities for growth. Judging yourself is not about being harsh. It's about being fair and supportive. It's a journey of self-awareness, continuous improvement, and positive change. As you step into this process, remember that every instance of self-judgment is a step towards a more emotionally intelligent and empowered life. Process 4. Learn to wait calmly. Patience is a virtue extolled by many wisdom traditions, and Buddhism is no exception. In the pursuit of emotional intelligence, patience becomes a cornerstone. Learning to wait calmly involves understanding that not everything happens on our timeline, and that's okay. Buddhist teachings remind us of the impermanence of all things. In the grand tapestry of existence, your current challenges are just threads that will weave into the larger picture of your life. Cultivate patience by embracing the present moment and trusting that, in time, things will unfold as they should. Impatience often stems from a desire for control. By relinquishing the need to control every aspect of your life, you open yourself up to the richness of the journey. The practice of patience, grounded in Buddhist principles, leads to a calmer mind and a more emotionally resilient spirit. Learning to wait calmly is akin to embracing the rhythm of life, understanding that not everything happens in the blink of an eye. It's about being patient, like waiting for a flower to bloom. When you integrate this practice into your life, you're allowing the natural course of events to unfold without rushing. Life can sometimes feel like a race against time, causing anxiety to build up. Learning to wait calmly is like applying the brakes. It's about slowing down the racing thoughts, creating a sense of calm that soothes the anxiety. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from challenges. When you learn to wait calmly, you're developing this resilience. It's like building a sturdy bridge that helps you cross the rivers of setbacks, knowing that every challenge is a stepping stone, not a roadblock. Patience is the companion of wise decisions. When you learn to wait calmly, you're giving yourself the gift of time. It's like letting the puzzle pieces of a decision fall into place naturally, resulting in choices that are thoughtful and well-grounded. Light's beauty often lies in the small moments, Learning to wait calmly is like savoring these moments. It's about being fully present in the waiting, appreciating the journey as much as the destination, and finding joy in the process. Emotional intelligence involves stable emotional responses. When you learn to wait calmly, you're fostering this stability. It's like having a well-balanced emotional scale, where even the heaviest challenges don't tip you over. Patience is the foundation of understanding and relationships. When you learn to wait calmly, you're enhancing this foundation. It's like nurturing the soil for healthy connections, where both you and others can grow and flourish. Life is ever-changing, and adaptability is a key component of emotional intelligence. When you learn to wait calmly, you're embracing this adaptability. It's like being a flexible tree that bends with the winds of change, rather than resisting and breaking. Patience allows you to appreciate the journey rather than fixating solely on the destination. When you learn to wait calmly, you're cultivating gratitude. It's like noticing the scenery on a road trip, recognizing the beauty in each mile traveled. Learning to wait calmly is not about idleness, it's about active patience. It's a practice of reducing anxiety, building resilience, and savoring the richness of life. Process 5. Get used to things changing. To enhance your emotional intelligence, embrace change rather than resist it. Understand that the ebb and flow of life bring valuable lessons and opportunities for growth. By getting used to things changing, you cultivate flexibility and develop a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all phenomena. When faced with change, take a moment to breathe and ground yourself in the present. The more adaptable you become, the more equipped you are to navigate the complexities of life. Change becomes not a source of anxiety, but a gateway to new possibilities and personal evolution. Getting used to things changing is like learning to dance with the rhythm of life's constant melody. It's about accepting that life is a river, always flowing, and change is its natural course. When you embrace this mindset, you're equipping yourself with the resilience to navigate the ever-shifting currents. 
Change can be unsettling, and stress often tags along. Getting used to things changing is like being a skilled surfer riding the waves. It's about finding balance in the midst of change, reducing the stress that comes with resisting the natural ebb and flow of life. Life's script is unpredictable, and adaptability is a valuable skill. When you get used to things changing, you're becoming a flexible actor in life's play. It's like having a versatile toolbox, ready to handle whatever plot twists come your way. Change opens doors to new possibilities. Getting used to things changing is like unlocking these doors. It's about being open to the opportunities that change brings, fostering a mindset that welcomes growth and exploration. Change is the canvas on which creativity paints its masterpieces. When you get used to things changing, you're tapping into this creative flow. It's like being an artist who embraces the evolving canvas, allowing for innovation and fresh perspectives. Emotional intelligence involves bouncing back from challenges. When you get used to things changing, you're building this resilience. It's like having a sturdy emotional umbrella that shields you from the storms of change, keeping you dry and composed. Change often comes with a mix of emotions. When you get used to things changing, you're gaining a healthier perspective. It's like stepping back from the canvas to appreciate the entire painting, understanding that change adds depth and richness to the tapestry of life. Life's challenges are puzzles waiting to be solved. When you get used to things changing, you're honing your problem-solving skills. It's like being a detective who adapts to new clues, finding innovative solutions in the face of evolving circumstances. Emotional intelligence involves harmonizing with the currents of life. When you get used to things changing, you're synchronizing with this flow. It's like being a skilled dancer who moves gracefully with the music, finding joy in the rhythm of change. Getting used to things changing is not about relinquishing control. It's about dancing with the beauty of uncertainty. It's a practice of reducing stress, embracing adaptability, and fostering a mindset that welcomes the ever-changing nature of life. Process six, decide what's okay and what's not. Setting boundaries is an integral part of emotional intelligence. Take the time to reflect on your values and what truly matters to you, what behaviors and energies align with your well-being and which ones detract from it. Deciding what's okay and what's not involves establishing clear boundaries that honor your needs and the needs of those around you. In the pursuit of emotional intelligence, be firm in upholding these boundaries. Communicate them with compassion and assertiveness, understanding that healthy relationships are built on mutual respect. By deciding what's okay and what's not, you create a harmonious environment that fosters emotional well-being. Process 7. Pay attention to the present moment. One of the core teachings of Buddhism is the importance of being fully present. The concept of mindfulness extends beyond self-awareness to a deep engagement with the present moment. To enhance your emotional intelligence, practice paying attention to the here and now. When you find your mind wandering, gently bring it back to the current experience. Whether it's a conversation, a meal, or a walk in nature, immerse yourself fully in the present. Mindful presence enhances your ability to connect with others on a profound level. When you engage in conversations, listen attentively without the distraction of your own thoughts. By paying attention to the present moment, you enrich your experiences and deepen your emotional connections. Process 8. Understand and share others' feelings. Take the time to listen deeply when others express their emotions. Put yourself in their shoes, acknowledging their joys and sorrows with an open heart. The cultivation of empathy bridges the gap between individuals, fostering a sense of connection and unity. In your interactions, practice kindness and compassion. Understand that everyone is navigating their own challenges, and a compassionate response can make a significant difference. As you develop the ability to understand and share others' feelings, you contribute to a more empathetic and emotionally intelligent world. Process 9 Grow a Happy Way of Thinking the culmination of emotional intelligence in the Buddhist context is the cultivation of a positive and joyful mindset. Buddhism teaches that happiness is an internal state that transcends external circumstances. Challenge negative thought patterns by cultivating positive and wholesome intentions. 
Recognize the impermanence of both joy and suffering, understanding that they are transient experiences. By fostering a happy way of thinking, you break free from the shackles of negativity and create a more fulfilling and emotionally resilient life. The journey to improving emotional intelligence through Buddhism is a transformative process. Each chapter serves as a stepping stone, guiding you toward a deeper understanding of yourself and others. As you integrate these teachings into your life, remember that the path to emotional intelligence is not about perfection but continuous growth. Let it be a source of inspiration on your journey to inner peace. In the words of the Buddha, do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. May your exploration of emotional intelligence be a mindful and enriching voyage, leading to greater self-awareness, compassion, and joy.